Earth Day. Yeah. Woo, it's here. My name is Kara Fleischer, and I am here today as a parent activist. And I want to empower you to become one too. Even if you don't have children of your own, I am betting you know and love at least one child and care about their future. Being a parent is a common bond that so many of us share. That deep love for a child can make us crazy with happiness or with worry, completely frustrated or beaming with pride. Because we love our kids so much, we would do anything to protect them. When our baby daughter got asthma from breathing smoggy air, her doctor told us to leave Atlanta. The code purple smog alert days, ozone filled air hurt our lungs to breathe. For the health of our daughter, we packed up and moved back to Florida for cleaner air, only to face four hurricanes in one summer. Well, that got my attention. Not only was air pollution causing asthma and hurting our health, but it was also damaging our planet by causing climate change. I realized my kids' future looked bleak if we didn't change course. I am so grateful to the scientists who have dedicated their life's work to studying climate change. But here in Florida, all we have to do is look around and see that it's happening. Sunny day flooding is such a problem in Miami Beach that they are spending $400 million in stopgap measures just to keep the town above water. Climate change isn't just about polar bears versus SUVs or a liberal versus conservative argument. Long gone are the days of thinking that this is a problem for our grandchildren off in the distant future or that changing a light bulb will fix it. After hearing the warnings for years, everything the scientists predicted has come true. The severe weather, food and water scarcity causing climate refugees, mass extinction of species, and the melting of ice caps causing sea level rise. It is all happening now. So what is a parent to do? How can we continue to go about our days, putting on a happy face for our kids, knowing we are destroying our planet? I'll be honest, I was paralyzed with fear. I thought, what can I do? I am just one mom. Finally, I realized that the only way I would be able to find peace was to push out of my despair and to take action. I found hope in so many places where people just like me were stepping out of their comfort zones and speaking up, and I knew I had to join them. I found Moms Clean Air Force, a group of one million parents who were speaking up for their kids' health. I joined Citizens Climate Lobby and went to Washington, D.C. to meet with Congress about climate action. I started a creation care group at St. Paul's United Methodist, where we have fun in the garden and learn ways to be good stewards of God's earth. I started blogging for the Tallahassee Democrat about ways we can all go a little greener. I am a mom on a mission to spread the word that your voice matters. Together, we can speak up for our kids' future and halt climate change. We can make a difference just by starting a conversation with local businesses, schools, houses of worship, and our friends and family about the need for sustainability. The tools and the technology are here, and now we need to hit our elected officials with a tidal wave of political will that is building this Earth Day. We can call, tweet, write, march, and demand that they act now to move our country to renewable energy and to fund the EPA and the science research, and, or they're gonna get washed out of office the next election. In a few minutes, we will march together for science. And once it's over, I hope you'll be ready to take the next step and to become a parent activist. If you're new at this, that's okay. There are plenty of tools to bring you up to speed, and a quick visit to my Facebook group called Mama Fly can get you started. The first step is to stand up and say, I am in. We need your voice in this effort, and I'm empowering you right now to become a parent activist to do your part in literally saving the world for your kids and to become their hero. Take a stand, taking a stand for a healthy planet is the best gift we can give our children and the greatest show of love. My kids have already said thanks, Mom, and that's what's keeping me going. So today, let's march for science, for the earth, and for the love of our children, and let's all become parent activists. Thank you.
All right, ladies and gentlemen.